Welcome to Trustee Shorts. My name is Matt Butler and I am a senior consultant with the Mississippi Library Commission. This short video will identify the elements that make a board meeting a good board meeting. From my experience, it's not the agenda items that distinguish a good board meeting from a bad one. It's planning and preparation. While other descriptors could be found, a good board meeting is timely, organized, lawful, respectful, and documented. A good board meeting is timely. Start and end on time. Members should arrange to be seated and ready to begin at the appointed time. The board chair should endeavor to structure the agenda in order to utilize the time allotted wisely. Agenda items should have time frames so that the meeting keeps moving. If an agenda item requires a vote, or if there is an issue that truly needs discussion, prioritize your agenda accordingly. These items should not be left until the end of the meeting and handled in a rush. How long should it be? Fewer scheduled meetings generally means longer meetings. A suggestion would be one hour to one and a half hours. Meetings might run over or finish early by a small margin of five minutes or so. Too short and members question why a meeting was necessary and too long everyone's focus begins to slip. A good board meeting is organized. Every board member receives the agenda, minutes from the previous meeting, and reports beforehand so that they can be informed and participate fully. The agenda format is standardized and members are aware when a vote may be required. Clear distinctions should be made between expected discussion items and action items on the agenda. Discussion items are informational. No vote is expected. Action items signal that a vote is expected. Since wordsmithing can waste valuable time, some organizations actually suggest potential phrasing for action items for motions as an economy of time. A committee report or project update might merit actual discussion during the board meeting, but a change to an approved budget requires an actual vote. A good board meeting is lawful. The Mississippi Code, Title 39, Chapter 3, 17th Section, dictates the numerical composition of the Administrative Board of Trustees. It also stipulates how often, the minimum, that the board must meet, which is quarterly. Trustees are charged with having officers, bylaws, care and custody of library property, and exclusive control of library finance. A quorum must be present to hold a meeting. Please notify the director and the board chair if you are unable to attend. According to Title 11, Chapter 46, the first section, public library systems in Mississippi are part of government. The term is political subdivision. Trustees operate under their approved bylaws, and the library system operates under the policies voted on and approved by the administrative board. The board must adhere to the open meetings law and any executive session is strictly governed by the state sunshine laws as governed by Title 25, Chapter 41, the fifth section. A good board meeting is respectful. Every board member should have the opportunity to speak. All points of view are welcome. Remember, there is no way for the rest of the board to know how you stand on an issue unless you speak. Raise your hand and let the board chair recognize you and then state your position. Do not monopolize the meeting. It isn't necessary to speak unless you have something to add to the conversation. Parliamentary law, such as Robert's Rules of Order, should be followed. Practice respectful dissent. There will be times when you disagree with a proposal and that is fine. Just remember that you might be outnumbered and majority rules. If you disagree with the motion, then when the vote is taken, vote no. A good board meeting is documented. You must document all board meetings. 
The place and time of each meeting must be advertised. Title 25, Chapter 41, the 11th section states, in part, any public body which holds its meeting at such times and places and by such procedures as are specifically prescribed by statute shall continue to do so, and no additional notice of such meeting shall be required except that a notice of the place, date, hour, and subject matter of any recess meeting, adjourned meeting, interim meeting, or any called meeting shall be posted within one hour after such meeting is called in a prominent place available to examination and inspection by the general public in the building in which the public body normally meets. A copy of the notice shall be made a part of the minutes or other permanent official records of the public body. The minutes of every meeting must be kept and available to the public. Title 25, Chapter 41, the 13th section states in part, Minutes shall be kept of all meetings of a public body whether in open or executive session, showing the members present and absent, the date, time, and place of the meeting, an accurate recording of any final actions taken at such meeting, and a record by individual member of any votes taken, and any other information that the public body requests be included or reflected in the minutes. The minutes shall be recorded within a reasonable time not to exceed 30 days after the recess or adjournment and shall be open to public inspection during regular business hours. Please make sure that all motions and the votes are accurately recorded. This is especially important if there is disagreement. However, any motion that passes becomes the will of the board. There is only one voice. Questions and formal training for trustees, I want to thank you all for taking the time to explore what makes a good board meeting for a board of trustees. This is not everything that you need to know about board meetings, but it's a start. If you have any questions or need training for your board, please do not hesitate to get in touch with me or any of the consultants with the Mississippi Library Commission. Have a great day.